so the core question they're tackling is, does more data, the global stuff, actually give you a significant edge? Or is a deep understanding of local markets you know, powerful enough on its own? It's a critical question, and this study gives us a really solid data-backed answer, or at least a strong perspective on it. Okay, let's get into the how. They didn't just like guess this stuff. They use machine learning, right? Specifically, something called the elastic net model. That's right, the elastic net. Now, for maybe some listeners less familiar with ML, what is that exactly, and why pick that tool for this job? Sure. So the elastic net is basically a statistical technique. It's really useful when you have a lot of potential predictors, like those 147 characteristics, and you need to figure out which ones actually matter. Okay. Sort of like finding the signal and the noise. Exactly. And importantly, it assumes a linear relationship between the characteristics and expected returns. This lines up nicely with, you know, traditional finance ideas like factor models. Ah, so it bridges the gap a bit between new methods and established theory. Right. Think of it like this. You've got 147 ingredients. The elastic net helps you pick the handful that actually make the cake taste good and tells you how much of each to use. It also ignores the redundant ones. Good analogy. And it gives you coefficients, right? So you can compare how much each factor matters in different places. Precisely. That comparison across markets is key to the study's goals. 